Yeah. Here, Tion. Okay. Alright. Alright. And then, uh, Dark wins another set. Should do pretty good. Camera is fixed. I'll be watching it. Alright, Dark Up a stock. I believe just lost to Yoko a little bit ago. Just gotta take two sets off of him. Um Somebody asked if the commentator won. Well, uh, this is Grand Finals, so... And I'm commentating. So yes, I did. I did win. Pretty good, too. It's a really good game, but, you know, I won. Alright. Dark has to win two sets. We're ahead of the bar after this. Dark with that up B. A spike. No. DK punch. Is up two stocks. Ness can bring this back with a quick gimp, maybe a spike, but... Everybody's standing around watching this grand finals. Try to get the camera a little over. It's been a great tournament, it's been going on for, shoot, probably close to four hours. It went pretty smoothly, and AK barely misses the ledge guard, throws him off the wall, takes the two stock lead. Dark takes game one. Alright, game two, a character switch. He's switching to Samus. Beautiful grab, gets him at the very tail end of that chain. Yeah, they, uh, I think he did pretty well with uh, Ness in the first set they played about an hour ago or less. Oh, 
Samus camped in the ledge. That up B is on point. And he would go out there. Oh, stayed on the ledge. Should have stayed on the ledge, but at the same time, he's in grand finals and I'm not, so he knows best. Oh my lord, that spike. Beautiful. Let me hear y'all in the chat. Who's watching still? Apparently nobody. Finally takes Samus's shot or uh, first life. It is doable with a spike. It's a shot. Can get away from the past too. It's him off the stage. Gets the throw. 98%. A couple good hits will do it. Shout out to the commentator. Thank you. It means a lot. I want to uh, be a shout out to uh, Brian Guy, uh, my mentor, D Boy, taught me everything. Uh, my baby mama at home, Lise. I'll be home soon. kill like that and he'll be good. No, yeah, I, uh, I volunteered a good portion of the night, but yeah, they, they claim it gets dull. It is now tie game. Percentages once again don't matter when you're on the same stock. Anything could happen. Embark, I know I will see you soon. I'll be out here again, I'm sure of it. And I will, uh, I got to meet everybody here. Really great people, all of them. Um, sorry I couldn't get you this time. I'll get you on the next one. You too, Aaron. Last stock, Samus is down 21%. Charge shot will give him the lead. Smash is uh, such a great community. Everybody's got their little communities with their friends, and uh, this appears to be a good one here. Everybody is is highly skilled at the game. Um, once again, at home, I mean, we have our group. Uh, Dustin, Guy, Ryan, James, Drew, everybody. Okay. You got bracket reset? Alright, alright. Let me get it. Yeah, I'll get it. Set two.
Alright, put on stream one sec. Dark or Yoba, who's gonna take it? Yes. Yoba, have you ever wanted a Xanadu? You're thirsty. You got it. Yoba has never won a uh, Xanadu. Yeah, shout out to AZ and everybody at home. We had uh, we have a great crew, all very well, all very good people, highly skilled as well, and uh, hopefully one day our crew gets to play the crew here at Xanadu. Alright, Shearer's gonna commentate. I'll see you guys later. Alright, what's up, guys? Um, grand final set to uh, Dark Horse. Uh, coming out of losers, uh, Yoba won winners finals. Um, this is game two. Alright, so Dark Horse actually is uh, one game two. Yoba going Samus. Um, he won with Ness, I think, in winners. Uh, I guess he lost grand finals one with. Um, so now he's going to Samus. This is uh this is a kind of a tough matchup. Um, Donkey Kong is just like his grab range, he just outspace so many things that Samus has. But what Samus can do is the the up B breaks kind of like any edge guard, and Samus getting Donkey Kong off stage with the down air is just an instant kill. Uh, so this can go back and forth in a couple ways. I do think just because of the spacing at this level of play, DK is going to win this. Maybe higher level Samus can, can win it, but the spacing that DK can get just through grabs, I think that's going to just make the difference here. Um, but this is like really can't be like first stock. No reason the first stock for this can't be. But uh, Samus does take it. High percent, you know, back throw is going to put this in a tough position, but Samus is heavy, so hopefully, yep. Oh, the oboe got the grab. Wow. Oh, goes to the hard read. I like that. Good decision, but just didn't pay off. It's unpunishable, so it's, it's like a it's like a safe safe read. As you guys go to Hog the ledge, Hog's the ledge gets it. That's all you gotta do against Samus. Um, if Samus can't get it back on the stage, which is really hard at high percents, then you can just Hog the ledge and just take her out. Uh, the butt doesn't work. Yobo figured out how to beat the butt. So that was a great bomb drop there, uh, Samus on the bomb drop. I don't know if she has invincibility, but I do know if she, like, she just like, pops herself up, uh, which causes her hitbox to be really, or her hitbox to be really, really small. So it's like great for like people who are like reading you and trying to hit you. If you just bomb drop there, you'll avoid getting hit, and um, you have an opportunity that, that, to punish their miss. Uh, and you know, helps with the recovery too. So, and the bomb potato. Um, Samus has a lot of options. The bomb's actually really good. Uh, and it can set up really well. Like you can place bombs, have them like recover, hit it, and then punish like an edge guard or something. <laughs> Yo, Wookie told me to go SD somewhere. <laughs> I think he doesn't want me on the mic. He's like, go SD somewhere. Go zero to death myself. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna keep leveling my Luigi. My Samus did it. My, I won one game with Samus, and not because my Samus outplayed the guy. I just got like, really lucky. I beat Wembo with Samus, but it was all game good. I'm gonna level up my Luigi. I'm gonna win Smash my Luigi. Oh, change the score? Wait, they told me Dark Horse is up 1-0. Am I wrong on that? Yo, what's this? You're up 1-0? In, in this game? No? This is game 1? Oh, this is game 1. I thought it was game 2. Alright. Alright, yeah, yeah. It's 0, zero. I got it back up. I, I didn't know what they were doing. Um, Alright, we're back. Mark getting aggressive. Really wants me to change the score. You can't, you can't have it any other way. All right, let's get that camera limit on. Then we use Jason in this. Uh, oh, stupid team. We got a, we got a junky set up here. LA still on the camera, All right, even stocks. Oh, um, I mean, it, it's Samus seven has the lead here. Uh, with oh another down air. Oh, I think it's down air. So on that, if you can read that that roll, you can get another down air. Down air back here. It's it's like death. 
So one thing that's hard for Don Kong to do against Samus, uh, that he has a really good matchup with like, you know, really Falcon or Ishii against two against Ness, is he can do the cargo hold, four throw into the stage, and stage play can like up and hit him. That that's actually uh works against a lot of characters. One problem with Samus is uh, like certain percentages, Samus will just up B through Donkey Kong to up B, uh put Donkey Kong off the stage, grab the edge hedgehog, or just like drop off down air and just kill Donkey Kong. So um, that's why you're not seeing Dark Horse do that, that often. Uh, you get it at a high percent, um because the knockbacks can be far enough, but at low percent it's just not and you know if you don't go bash it out anyway, you get it. But great read, that was a great read for that Donkey Punch. Uh basically baited Yobo to come back on and just punch them it's nothing you can do about it. It's almost like how like Yoshi just lets you hit them and then punish it afterwards. He just lets you miss and then punish it afterwards. Oh, it goes to the clap. I don't know if he wanted that. Uh, I think that might have been an input error. To be like a jump up air and just input too fast. Stands, stands up smashes. Alright, the open with a one-stop lead. That's actually a really good choice there. Uh, so DK, if he's coming up high, like high enough where he's not going to be below the ledge, but high enough where he's not going to get like the top platform on a top B, you can just grab Samus' tether grab. You can just literally just grab DK out of it and then throw him. And Samus' grab is really good distance, really strong. Uh, kills, you know. It's really great RG. It's almost like, you know, you would edge guard with Samus a similar way in that sense, like you would Yoshi. Um, Samus does have better options. You can just actually jump off down here. Or jump off down here. But, uh, so, here we go. One stock. Uh, Dark Horse trying to bring us back to even stocks. Take this game one lead. Holding us up. Sticky rice. For, it's almost midnight. Alright, back air. Yeah, he's gonna do something about Samus. He's gonna back throw or something. Um, but Yobo is playing real patient and using the projectiles. One thing Samus has in this uh, doesn't have to approach. Can you know, force the, the dark block to approach? And Yobo's doing a pretty good job of that. The back here is going to put her off stage and yeah, the edge is going to take it. So we're down to last stock. Um, see what Jason does to try to even this back up. Um, percent or even just take the stock in general. Um, Yobo really, really can't be here if he needs to. Back air is down there. He's just trying to outspace DK. Oh, he doesn't get the punish in the, the up B through the grab. He has got invincibility, so he can like combo break with the other And his hands are invincible too, so it's like fairly good edge armor. Um, oh, down here, he didn't, he got a chase window down there. And the clap, is that gonna be it? Oh no. Oh. Uh, so it's like almost even, I mean, double percentage for, for uh, yeah, TK here, but it's enough. Oh, he goes for the re, he doesn't get it. Neutral, you're gonna kill? No, not gonna kill. But um, yeah, this percentage, like, either of these guys can take it. Oh, and he gets the charge shot. So the charge shot fully charged and to go below the stage, it's gonna hit DK. Uh, I don't think the OP can flank it, at least at the hands. Uh, I could be wrong on that, so I think it's like a fairly safe option. But if it does clank, and someone correct me if I'm wrong, then DK, that was not a safe option. I guess a safe option, it wasn't an optimal option for, uh, uh, for Yobo. I mean, safe is not gonna be punished. Alright, just, they're just charging. Maybe those guys just. Gonna fight, they're just gonna charge. It's like nuclear arms. You have your weapons, I have mine, we're not gonna kill each other. Oh, uh, misses, misses the uh, charge shot. Misses the crowd, that's gotta be an input error, I don't think. You... One thing with Sam misses, like, uh, at least I have this problem with I have with her, is I'll try to like jump and, and down here, like right away, like a rising guy, right off the ground, like as fast as I can. Um, and sometimes they actually like, grab, because so I'll just like push it too fast. And, uh, you know, I use R, so like it just triggers the grab. Um, yeah, it's our course. Oh, and Yolo, Yolo punches and punish for it. So he gets the re, gets the grab, gets him off stage. Um, the, he's talking about the hedgehogs, I think Samus can get. Oh, he can there. I think if Samus did a, a couple bomb drops, she could have up and landed back on the platform, um, which would have prevented the hedgehog. So what Samus needs to do is like down air or down B, try to get close enough to the stage where he, she can choose to either go low if she thought or go high if he goes to hedgehog. Um, one risk though is Don Young, if he knows that, he can just like jump off and like up B him, like up B out of his down B and just pop him away. And then Samus is totally dead, the fixed knockback is too much work. So it's a it's like a guessing game, but I mean the way Dark Horse was talking before, but again, he has to do that. And no, it just, he's gonna he's gotta use those bombs. Oh, great drop off, great drop off laser. I, I guess that the proves that you know you can't clank with the laser with DK's uh, uh maybe a stale, but it doesn't look like it. 
Yo, yeah, you have one. Sorry about that. I lost that guy right now. Hello? Um, yeah, I'm not paying attention to the scores. Alright. Yeah, guys, I gotta do a shot of fireball for uh, at the tourist party at the bar. If we go, it's almost midnight. Um, I mean, the last couple weeks they've had a lot of good attendance. They're probably still be going on. We'll probably go. I mean, I, there's no reason for us not to go. I don't have work tomorrow. I'm driving up to Rhode Island. Um, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna pick up my niece and then you pick up my little cousin and then, uh, yeah. So I can go into the bar and do whatever the hell I want. But, all right. Even stocks, game two, almost even percentage. I mean, we might as well call this even percentage. Um, you're almost playing like real campy, like. Kind of surprising, you know. He doesn't really play Sam that much, so you know it's interesting to see him see him play this style. Um, I think not like a Cobra, maybe a little more like Cabal. But, you know, Cobra's a little more aggressive. Even then, I don't know. Uh, Cabal, from what I hear, I haven't played Sam as plays Peek before, but he does a lot more with like the bomb drop, bomb, bomb, the bomb for defensive moves, and the lasers, and the charges. Um, so Yobo is playing, I guess, if I can imagine, similar to that. Uh, but DK does have the stock lead. Not a, not much of the percentage. You know, one downer back air or something's gonna take it. But... Oh, what the heck? That grab? What are you doing? Forward air. Grab. Nice, nice reads. Yeah, Jason's really good. This is what they think they're looking at. He's like pivot grabbing. Like, he's almost his entire game, always. Like even with Falcon, he's like he plays his entire game off pivot grabs. Jigglypuff too. Um, he's just really good at it. Probably one of the better ones that I've ever seen as far as like making those pivot reads. Oh, it doesn't get the back air. Tough for Yobo. Two stock lead. Uh, you really gotta get this stock here. It should be fairly easy. Yeah, the back air should take it. All right, so now it's one stock. Um, definitely tough. What Yobo needs to do, I think, a little bit more is defensive upbeats. Um, I think he can break some of like, yeah, so like there, I feel like if he just upbeat, maybe he would have gotten out. At least not grabbed. Um, it's tough though. So upbeat, yeah, forward upbeat, it's safe. Um, at least if the he get his di di out of it. So you just gotta try to rack up percent, get him into this reach, get a like one stock kill or one hit kill. Oh, and the forward air. Okay, so now it's even up. We're 1 1. Oh, uh, low tier here is um, Luigi, DK, Samus, Link, and Ness. So Yobo, game three, set two, winner two. This is gonna be all for the money $14 to first, $8 to second. Yobo looks like he's gonna go back to Ness. He really wants that $14. And he doesn't want to think any longer. Yobo, Yobo is selfless guy, doing it for the team. Doesn't want this to go any longer. Just wants it to end it quick. Game three, set two. This is as far as it goes. It's the end of the line. Here we go. Let's get in the tunnel for one of these guys. The riches of six, six more dollars is the end of the tunnel for the other. Dark Horse Wings is going to make a rain for $15. Yobo wants that gas money. Oh, gets the up beat, he's gonna get back? No! Oh, he does! Wow! Okay, that was like... That was the perfect distance, because he was maybe a pixel lower. I don't think he was grabbing that. I don't think he was grabbing that. I don't think he went a little too low. But that stage by kill is impressive. Um, you know, so there's a certain angle where it's like a spike goes so far down, it's like an instant kill. And then there's the angle where it just kind of like bounces in the back, and they can always they can always get back if it's on edge. Um, but not an instant kill, but uh, it's percentage of it is, but uh, for some like Ness, I think, I think it's really hard to get back. Oh yeah, 14 and 8, my bad, it's a $6 difference, uh, but 14 and 8 is, is the pop out. Uh, top 2, when we do a low tier, $1, it's just not enough money to go to top 3 or anything. Uh, we do have a good turnout for numbers, but there's just no money in the pot. You know, we're not paying more than $2 or $1. Yeah, this is a this is a four fun tournament. Um, you know, we have uh, toss for fun, shines for fun, low tears for fun. Cancer, as Cobra would say. Making it rain, yeah. All right. Oh, he gets the back air. Uh, it's end right. So one thing DK does not like. He's not the fastest in the air. Uh, so when Ness is kind of like pulling himself away, he's always gonna get his up B off because DK just can't run out and really chase as much. But DK like can read with the Donkey Punch. He can like wait for the land and grab. So DK like can usually punish the edge guard really well, but uh, it's kind of hard if like Ness pulls out for, for 
for DK to punish. That was a great fastball by Yobo to get DK to completely miss that. So, if you have the breaker up, grab, read the roll. That on the platform, it's like so hard for any character to throw against this. And the down smash, yeah, perfect move. Um, so on the platform, any character rolling or even teching, Ness has the advantage. You can just read and his grab is so good, he'll grab you and kill you. It's, it's, it's really what you need to do. And you can just down air and just take punish on, on like down airs. Um, read down airs and just chain them. So one stock lead for Yobo, really that percent. I mean, DK gets one back throw, it's, it's done up. Yeah, Rob's a little punk. These guys are camping. These guys are camping too much for four, four, six bucks. Now he takes the Falcon Man. Yeah, yeah Rob, sal salty, salty Samus made, and now salty Falcon Man. Oh, the up, up he was a, a good idea. I liked it, but uh, Yobo used that like double jump cancel, which you know kind of stalls Ness in the air for a bit, so you know, he's not gonna fall as like any normal speed. Like, he's Stall and then fall really fast, um, and that can make the difference. So, like, Doc Talks up, he only has like three frames of invincibility. We saw him make the up, he miss, and then come through and punish. One stock, almost a full stock lead for Yobo. Uh, really thinks, I think he can win this here. He gets down here? No. Um, what, you know, what DK? So, DK's on three. Oh, great. Oh, but he killed himself. Oh, wow. Um, so he didn't get the, he didn't get the spike, but he, he got to kill himself. So, what I think Ness needs to do in this a little bit more is, uh, DK doesn't have invincibility on his head, it's just on his arms. You can just jump out, like, wait till he kind of comes underneath you, and then just double jump cancel down air, uh, off stage, and then he's up you back. And I, I think he needs to do more for Fred Johnny. He's gonna start leading, play it safe here, uh, but there's no reason Darkus isn't gonna bring this back. I mean, he gets one or four throw, cargo hold, stage bike, up here, something, and Ness can be out of this. So, gets the re, gets the grab, so he gets the guard. So too far away, so that's the thing. So DK can't run out and like punish him, like maybe like, he can go. Oh, he doesn't go for the, for the stage spike. What? Interesting choice. How does he punish this though? Back air. That was a good read for, that was a perfect read for Donkey Punch, but he just goes for the throw. So he's really reading here. Great, great edge guarding. Oh, wow. So Yobo popped up perfectly. Is he too low? Is he too low? Oh, he grabs it. What? Oh, wow. We're totally even. So uh, this is what I was saying. You know, Doc Hogg can bring this right back. Um, but uh, it's surprising he grabbed him from the ledge when, you know, Ness's little pop-up. Uh, this is like really, really little but, uh, uh, This is going to be interesting how this last lot goes, you know. Even when these characters bring back, we'll see if we get either a stage bike, a hockey punch, or um, just like a down, down air bike from Ness. The PK Thunder! Oh, back air! Down air! Grab! Oh, the roll gets out of it! Wow! Yobo choking, choking it away. He doesn't want to win this. He he's, he's nice, too nice. He's going to give Dark Horse $6. He's like, nah, man, you keep the money. Yeah, Sloth was here. Uh, he left earlier, uh, like maybe like half an hour ago. Back air, grab, back throw. How's the edge guard? How's the edge guard? Oh, what does he do? What does he do? Back air, doesn't get the back air, but he still grab. Oh wow. Okay. What is Yoma gonna do to come back? And what is Darkness gonna do to edge guard? He misses the doggy punch. What? Oh, how is this happening right now? Oh my god, Joke Horse, yeah! Joke Horse! Oh, oh, wow, this, these, the tense, the nerves! Oh, Nair! Oh, gets the ledge, oh my god. Oh, he's still at first hit, he can't butt! He's, he, 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 Doc Horse can't win, he can't butt. That's the only way DK wins this is with a butt. He can't butt, he's out, he's too high percentage. No butts. Oh, that eagle, what?! Oh, Dark Horse takes it on the angle. Ah, oh, wow, so hard, so close. What a great set. That was